Hey guys, what's happening? Birdman316 here. I don't think I've ever featured this one as far as a history on it. This is the trash can strat. Let's take a good look at it right there. There we go. It's got a bullet neck on it. I think it's strung up with 942s. I'm not positive. There's a very interesting story about this guitar here. The reason I call it the trash can. I bought this body. Everything here. Everything, all the electronics, the bridge, scratch plate, everything, but not the neck. This was bought on eBay for... I'm guessing 120 bucks. I'm not sure. Back in like 2010, I'm not really positive of exactly how much. <clears throat> and I honestly don't think the records go back that far. They go back a little ways, but they don't go back that far. It's a good ways back. But I paid around 120, 130 dollars for this. Now I have replaced the switch because the other switch did go bad on me. And it is missing a screw here and there. There you go. That was already like that. All that uh, scuffage around the neck pickup section where the scratch plate is. But this has been relicked by whoever I bought it from. So I bought the body. And then I went on a hunt and found this neck, which is a Squire Bullet Strat neck. And surprise to me, it bolted right up. Of course, I had to shim it. Well, that's back then, it was back before I knew about shimming and whatnot. But anyway, I put this thing together and put strings on it, checked it out, adjusted it, and set it up as best I could back then. So my roommate came home and said, Dang, where'd you find that thing at a dumpster? So that right there gave me the idea to name this thing the trash can. Then I guess a couple, three years after that, I traded it to a good friend of mine. And he had it for a long time. Then, just about two, three years ago, probably three years ago, I bought it back. And since then... I had to change the switch because the switch was the old cheesy uh, circuit board switch or whatever that comes on the lower budget, lower end budget guitars and whatnot. And he tried to clean the jack plate, but it turned it into some kind of copperish color. So what I did was I ordered me some relic jack plates from guitarfetish.com and that's one of them right there. And I did replace the block style saddles with bent steel saddles. The pickups. I've been told in the description that their Wilkinson. I'm not exactly sure which one. That Wilkinson has a bunch of these. These are ceramic bar magnet pickups. But don't let the ceramic bar magnets fool you. A lot of people say, oh, ceramic magnet pickups ain't doing good. You can tell the staggered, it's got staggered pole pieces on here. But don't let anyone tell you that ceramic magnet pickups are no good. These things are awesome. I don't know what they are. All I know is they're, they're Wilkinson. I'm not sure if they're vintage voice. I'm not sure if they're hot. I do know that they're ceramic bar magnet. And someone did change or relic the original pickup covers. But all I know is these things sound wonderful. Let's flip this over and let you guys see the back side of it. The other side. There we go. Let me get around there. There we go. Now, when I got it, it didn't have any springs on it. Oh, it might have had springs on it. Might have had three, two or three, but I put all five. And it does have a little block. 
And this cover was on here when I got it. As well as the strap buttons here. Here's the back of the neck. I'll go up very slowly. This is an 05 neck. Yes, it does have these cheesy style tuners on here, but one of these days I'll buy some relic tuners and put them on here. But these work just fine for now. Not a problem. Let me lay this back down before this strap button decides to poke a hole through the table. So I have accidentally poked a hole through the table, this table before. I was tightening the neck screws on a Les Paul style guitar and next thing I know I heard a pop. I said, oh no, I broke the switch off. I broke the switch tip. Oh my goodness. I picked up, looked at it. Oh, and none hurt. And there's a hole in the table. <laughs> Oops. So there's the other strap button on this guitar here. It came, it came with this. It doesn't look exactly like Fender style strap buttons. It looks more kind of like some Gibsons ran this style. But these came on here, so they're just staying. They're good. Not a problem. So, let's walk around this thing a little bit. Give you another, some more angles of this thing before we close out the yakety yak talking about it. Now, all these scuffs, all these dings. We're on here when I got this from the the fellow on eBay. So that's why this has been named the trash can because my roommate said, uh, did you find that thing in a dumpster or something? I thought, wow, yes. Now these knobs here, they're crooked. They were like that when I got it. So I did not mess with it. I didn't try to straighten them. So they're staying just like they are. If these pots ever go bad, I'm going to replace them with exactly what's in here now. We'll find out what the value is. I'm not sure if they're 500s or 250s. Normally on a Strat, it'd be 250. But these might be 500s. I don't know. But whatever they are, they sound great. Next time you see this one, we'll be in a sound room and we'll get some samples of the tones on this thing. I was very pleased with it. Still am. When I first got it. Now it's even better because it's actually been set up more proper. And I have properly shimmed the neck. I had to put a, put a little shim in there to get the neck more straighter. The intonation has been set. Everything's good. The truss rod adjustment is fine. Oh yeah, guys. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I will be back in a little bit with the sound check of this thing. See you in a little bit, guys. This is Birdman316 signing out for right now. The trash can strap. Seven pounds, six ounces. Or, let's come over here, there we go, mode. 3.35 kilograms. There we go, the trash can strap, the weight. There we go. Feels heavier than that, but that's, that's, that's the numbers right there, you don't lie. What is happening guys? Birdman316 here again with the trash can strap. What we're going to do here today is get some clean sounds, some dirty sounds, and we're going to go surfing a little bit. On the floor, I have the 65 Combo Deluxe pedal, which is going to be mainly our surfing deal. We can get the drip, the famous Dick Dale drip. And beside this one, we have a, a new pedal, a new edition, called the Sweet Cream. <clears throat> I saw one of these Sweet Creams on a Anderton's film about chasing down the Peter Green tone. And when I saw that, when I heard the Sweet Cream 
I thought, man, I gotta find one of those things. It sounds really good. It'll give a tube screamer a good run for some money. So here we go. We're on the neck position. The volume and tones are all the way up. Let's get some sounds here. We're trying to make some noise and try not to have the police called on us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sweet Cream Overdrive. Now the drive section, <clears throat> the drive knob, pot, whatever, is uh, sitting on about 8 o'clock. It's, it's pretty low. Here we go. Now we're back here in the middle and the bridge. 
Now I'm neck on myself now. Here we go. cream off. Nothing but regular amp. Now even though we have this 65 combo plugged in, it's just standing by. It has its own overdrive and it has its own reverb. So we're going to step on the reverb section. We're on the bridge because that's where you're going to get all your clicky clack Dick Dale style. And I'm going to show you something. This thing still drips even though it's a single coil strat. Here we go. Can you hear it dripping a little bit? A lot. <laughs> find out does this thing still have it now this thing here check this out <clears throat> I had bought a guitar from the pawn shop oh, a few years ago it's a it was a candy apple red Squire affinity strap and I totally redone everything I put a, a really nice wiring kit in it I put like a uh, custom shop now check it the custom shop it's a real Texas special in the neck. And I think the middle had like this um, guitar fetish vintage 59 or 63. Well, I forget which in the middle. And the bridge had like an Eric Johnson custom shop. And would you believe that this guitar here with these whatever these Wilkinsons are sounded better than the one with the custom shops in it that's crazy so uh yeah you can you can guess what happened to that guitar i sold it 
took a little bit of a beating, but uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, this here is proof you don't need to spend thousands of dollars to have awesome sound. But this thing is really nice. Now, there's a couple things that I might change on here for the better now. I noticed this, these uh, saddles here, they're kind of spread out like fingers. In other words, this little uh, string here is very close to the edge of the fingerboard. Now, if I was to put, I thought these were 10.5 metrics. I think they might be 10.8 or whatever. I'm not sure as far as the width. So I'm going to go with some smaller brass saddles or, or a little bit skinnier. And yeah, I got to change the strings. You got you to destroy the strings and you got to string it through the saddle. And then I'll have to reset the height, the string height and the intonation. But if it's going to straighten these strings out a little bit better. And while I'm doing that, I might as well go ahead and get a big block and put it on the back or put the big block in there. So that'll be a couple things for the better for this thing. And it sounds great like it is now, but those two things will make it even better. And plus it'll line the strings up a little bit better. It plays fine like it is now, but it's just, uh, this kind of bothers me. It, it, it looks like they're spread out like fingers, you know, like that right there, you know, but it's still, it still plays fine, it still sounds fine. Sounds fine. I'll get my words untangled here in a minute. But anyway, guys, I want everyone to do me a humongous surfy favor here. Have a great day, have a great night, wherever you are, and always remember keep rocking, keep surfing, make the world a better place. This is Birdman 316. Sayonara.